You know, wow. lots of times that'll happen. We uh, in the, the ride the high country, the the. Randall Scott and Joel McRae were originally supposed to play opposite characters. They were supposed to be. Uh, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. The other characters. Right. And they they talked o talked it over, and they both came to the conclusion that they'd be better off in the other part. And you know, lots of times, the actors can figure that out. And and they brought it up to the producer and director, and they agreed. Exactly. Wow. And it was course, perfect uh, casting. <laughs> it was perfect casting. It was just just great. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. That's how you got the part on the Virginian, right? No, no, it wasn't <laughs> quite like that. No, they, uh, I wasn't. I was never up for the part of Trampus. I can guarantee you. <laughs> it's what they call an artsy craftsy shot. You get the camera down here and you shoot through this hole. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. I'll tell you what. I watched an episode of Lawman. Okay, yeah. and you're on there, and you hadn't seen. When's the last time you saw that episode? Oh, a long time ago. Long time ago. He just dominates it. Every scene he's in, like this this girl walks in, he's been shot up, you know. Of course, he gets shot up and steals the scenes, you know. Oh, look at me, I'm all shot up. Yeah. And he, he gets in there, and they, they get him in, they get him in a bed, and uh, the woman reporter comes in and says, uh, is there anything I can do for you? And he says, that's a dangerous question. <laughs> <laughs> Jim is one of those rare actors that has a great presence uh, on screen. Uh, the eyes seem to always go to him uh, in his early days in the Virginian and everything. That's very true. Well, it's, I think it's more a question of listening to the other actors. Because if you listen, they want to find out what you're going to do. And, and I, you know, it's by no means trying to upstage anyone or anything like no, that. not at all. Just listen to what they're saying. And the eyes will come because the anticipation is what's he going to respond. We don't act, we react to what the other person Lots is Lots of doing. times that's yeah. the case. If you're ever caught acting, you're in trouble. That's, <laughs> that's right. I got one thing I want to ask you. Sure. And that is uh, about Randolph Scott and Joel McRae. How was it working with those two men? Oh, just... Phenomenal, you know. I was uh, here. Are these two guys that I'd I'd spent my whole boyhood watching, uh, growing up watching them work, and and uh, they had never done a picture together before, but they had been good friends for 45, 50 years, and they were so happy to be working together and and have those parts and have the 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 issue resolved as to whether they should play one part or the other, and that was all resolved with, with the time I got there, and. Uh, uh, they they just seemed like they'd been getting ready for it all their lives, you know. And it was a, a wonderful thing to watch it unfold, the, the relationship. Yeah, but they also yeah. had some pretty good supporting actors. They did. Well, we <laughs> they got, really did. <laughs> tremendous cast. Tremendous yeah, it cast. was a great cast. War Notes again. Yeah. And, and LQ. And, and, LQ. Uh, oh, man. Uh, John Anderson, yeah, uh, you and Brian yeah, actually. That, that was a good. And John David Chandler, who to this, sure. to this day is one of the most chilling guys on screen. He's a little slight, frail kind of a guy, but he looks so dangerous, you know, his his whole, you know, he's just, he just comes across as a complete psycho that would do anything to you anytime he felt like it. <laughs> and he was a great tennis player. Yeah. Was he really? Oh, he's an A player. Yeah. Wasn't yeah. Edgar Buchanan the, the judge that's all? The no, Buck, Buck he, he was the, the guy that married us. Yeah. The, he married me and married at Hartley. Old Buck, yeah. And he was a dentist, you know. For real? Yeah, for real. He I didn't a, know he that. Was a oh yeah, he was probably wasn't. He was forty years old or more before he became an actor. Well, there's still hope for me. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a dentist? Yeah. No, but my great great grandfather was. So there you go. There you go.